Hello everyone, this is Kim Avila, coordinator of the Teacher Preparation Program in Blindness and Vision Impairment at Mason. I'm going to show you today how to access Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, which is the platform we use for many of our classes in the VI Consortium. The first thing you'll need to do is access Mason's Blackboard page. If you go to mymason.gmu.edu, it'll direct you to the login. You can type in your credentials, and then it will take you to the home page. From there, you will need to access the Courses tab, and Blackboard will provide you with a list of classes that you are currently enrolled in. I'm going to access one of my classes for this semester and also enter into student view so it's more comparable to what you might notice on your screen. On the left hand side, there are a variety of navigation links. I'm going to go to the course content. In my classes, I do put a link for Blackboard Collaborate Ultra in each week's content folder. So for week one, there will be a Blackboard Collaborate Ultra a link to the platform. Some instructors do put that link on the left side in the navigation, and various professors will put it in different places. This is how I organize it. I do have the course room unlocked at all times, so you can log in, you can practice, you can go through settings, and you can make sure that your computer is able to get onto the app at, uh, before class starts. Please also do use a headphone and microphone combination. This allows for best audio and reduces echo and feedback. If you go into the course room, you access the link for course room and then it will give you another to join course room. I'm already logged into Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, so I'm not going to click that link again. But when you do, it will give you the option to enroll, to log in via browser, which is fine. Or if you have one of the apps installed, it will give you that choice as well. So you would follow the link to join course room. Once inside the room, and I have a screen share on, so I call this the infinity screen. And this normally will not look like this. I'm just, I need to show you all the components of Ultra so you're familiar with them. But the first thing you do when you come in is you need to be aware that you can unmute and mute your microphone. If you're going to do this with a mouse, you can simply click on the link, the bottom icon with the microphone, or you can use the keyboard command Alt-M to mute and to unmute. Also, if you are going to be using keyboard commands throughout using Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, please note that it does have a dedicated website to keyboard shortcuts, to hotkeys, and to accessibility. So you can go through these links to get more detailed information. I am going to highlight the basics of navigation with your keyboard or your mouse. And also, I encourage you to look at the link that says Find Your Way Around on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra's help website. It gives a lot of the keyboard commands integrated directly within. So how to mute and unmute that Alt-M, how to use your camera, how to raise your hand, and so on. So going along with that, I really encourage you to participate in the classes as much as possible. You can raise your hand by, again, accessing the icon at the bottom middle of the screen, click on and click off. It does alert the instructor that a student has raised their hand. If you would like to do this with a keyboard command, you do an Alt-R. Okay. I'm sorry, an Alt-H. Alt-H raises hand. Alt-H will also unraise the hand. Okay. And that allows you to uh, inform me that you would like to speak up, which is great. I also want to draw your attention to a couple of the menus on screen. On the upper left hand side of the screen, we have a hamburger menu that basically will give you the settings of the class. And the first thing I want you to do is to take note that Blackboard Collaborate Ultra also can give you a unique call in phone number and PIN number. I would like you to take this information down when you log in the first time. The phone number and PIN number on my screen is unique to the user that I'm logged in as, so it may not work for you. When you log in, take the phone number and your PIN, because if your internet crashes 
or you get kicked off, you can access with the phone. If your microphone's not working or there's a lag or a delay, any of those reasons, you can call in and that will provide you with the class. And I do give all of the PowerPoints and documents on the regular Blackboard site so you can follow along. If you are using keyboard commands, you use your tab key as a steering wheel to navigate around the screen. So right now I'm tabbing and it's highlighting in blue where I'm at. Okay, so now I'm on that hamburger menu and I'm gonna hit the space bar to open that hamburger menu. So again, if you are not using a mouse, you can tab through. I'm gonna be able to tab through this menu and then hit escape when I need to get out of it. I can also tab down to the the icons at the bottom of the screen. So again, I can tab to that microphone. I can hit a space or space to activate or to deactivate something. Uh, so right now I have the focus on my microphone. I can do an Alt M to uh, mute or unmute, or I can do a tab and I can space to activate it. Same with hand raise. Okay, on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, there is a purple tab with white arrows. This particular menu is gonna have a lot of the important information you're going to need to run your session through. The bottom right, this, and again, I can tab through here as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm using that tab key. It's navigating for me. I can shift tab to go backwards. If I need to check my settings for my microphone or my camera, I can do that through here. It also gives me that telephone number if I need to access the class through the telephone and, and so on. I'm going to tab a little bit more. I can go to, I, right now I tab to the chat and I can hit the space bar to activate that. I can tab through and I can type in a message and tell it to either alert the instructor or another class member or the entire group. So chat message, I do a lot of polls in class. I do ask for feedback. So please have the chat box available and ready as you're navigating. And you can look at the participants if you are presenting that day. I generally upload the presentations before class and, and I have you navigate through them um, as a PDF. So there's not much you'll have to do there, but some people do want to do a screen share and that will be accessed through here if they're going to show a video or, or some type of other interactive uh, like test or something like that. So that is an important menu to have as well. Again, you can look through Blackboard Ultra Collaborate's accessibility website for more detailed information on getting to those menus and whatnot. Um, but please do log in early. Please do get your settings established before the first class. I'm happy to help. Let me know if you need to do a check, tech check. You can also email or contact Mason's IT department, and they can help solve if you're having any trouble. Thank you so much.